Lina kwambi unapata hiyo salo ya kama ni ya 40k na by the time 50 ifike hauna kitu hata hivi kwa mfuko. Umengara zote. Ah, umengara zote. Where do you go? Unaanza kuomba. Sasa wale watu naomba ni watu wenye hao wamejikipio low profile lakini at least mtu wa save. So unaenda unaanza kuomba pesa. So unlikuna mm-hmm. fake lifestyle. Yes, me, I, I had a fake lifestyle that time and I'm not fr- afraid to say that because I know what wengi wame, wana live sai in denial because pia hao wako kwa situation yenye nilikuwa. <laughs> you want to, you know, you, you want to look good, you want to impress the community but deep inside unasafa. And you are broke. Yeah, and you are broke. Lin ningea mkasa zingine tu hivi I tell my hubby, give me fair ni end a job. And then he's like, if that job can't give you fair, why are you going? Sit in the house. Mm. Eh, Barangu alikuwa model <laughs> that time. So, na Malisha, na piga picha. Mm. And I didn't even know how to take photos. You know, my selection for Jesus talking ilikuwa mbaya baya nika na chukua zile za wazungu mm. zote. Funny enough, the first day, nilimpiga hizo photos and I posted online on Facebook. I got like 17 clients. Where can I get these tokens? And then I was like, I have them. So tomorrow I hit the road, niende ni wapeleke delivery. And that is how I started. I remember the first day, nilienda kuuza tokens, I made um, 2700 profit. Hello, welcome to Inspire Kenya. Now, I've never had a guest who is so brutally honest. Here she is, and the proud owner of these amazing stockings that you see here. And there's a story behind these stockings, among other amazing outfits in this store. Her name is Zipora, and Zippy, as many people call her, has faked everything. As in, Hakuna lifestyle as a fake. So we want to find out why she did it, how it came to an end, and what inspiration other women around the country can pick from her. Ukotari, tukambia story ya. My name is Zipora. Zipora Neto uh, or Zipora Mweke, yeah. uh, whichever you want to call me. I am a mother, mm-hmm. a mother of two, mm-hmm. um, one beautiful girl, yes. aged f- uh, three, okay. and a half called Sifa, yes. and an um, 11 year old boy okay. uh, called Shawin. Mm-hmm. Yes, and um, I'm a wife and a business lady. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, now take us through your story. All right. So this beautiful journey started back in uh, 2009. Mm-hmm. I just completed my high school. And um, Kidogo, I was into business. And uh, I remember that time, my, my dad had trusted me. Ile ya kuni wacha nifanye. Like, he had given me that freedom of doing what I wanted uh, mm-hmm. business-wise. He was supportive. Yes, he was very supportive mm-hmm. because that time we used to live with him yeah. uh, back in Buruburu. Yeah. And uh, he... he like I started a kabiashara. Mm. I remember those days Mpesa ndo zilikuwa zimeanza. Mm. So he funded me and I had a ka Mpesa shop. Okay. Kidogo kidogo but I didn't know much about Mpesa so I didn't also have the knowledge to mm. on how to run it. Okay. So by the help of our, our um, what do you call them? Our when you piano is or lines. Uh-huh. Yes. Our customer care. Yeah. Yes. Not the customer care. Yeah. I think they are the, the, the agents. Okay. Yeah. So I can put your line and then we set up a car business. It mm-hmm. was just outside the estate. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, I ran it for quite some time. Uh, about how long? I can't remember that was back then. Yeah. And then after some time, it collapsed. Mm-hmm. Now I, I went to college. That was in 2010. Mm-hmm. Uh, I went to the Kenya Institute of Management, yes. Fanya Business Management. Mm-hmm. Kidogo kidogo nikaleta mchezo and I got pregnant mm-hmm. with my first baby. Okay. So now I had to to move, to out. move out, yes, and I went to live in Rongai yeah. for some time. Mm-hmm. So Nikiwa Rongai, Nika Jambia Sasa, what to do? You know you have no one to support you mm-hmm. because that time Ninajua like I had told my mom but now because my dad didn't know mm-hmm. Nika 
I wanted to do something yes. you know but nilikuwa tu na hiyo passion ya biashara nitaifanya aje mm-hmm. so i remember i used to 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 buy panties you know ladies panties and uh, those days they were they were not as costly as the way they are today mm-hmm. and then i would hawk yeah hmm? uh, I'm, I'm, i would hawk to you know just some parts of rongai and all that mm-hmm. and through that i got to know you know business uh, other business guys and all that mm-hmm. so after some time life became a bit tough um that time uh, uh, the baby daddy wasn't supportive mm-hmm. and all that and then uh, i decided See, sasa juu ni mtoi amekuja that time you are not able to go out. Mm-hmm. I come back to Buruburu where we used to live with my dad yes. because that time he had known you know you have gotten a baby and all that. Mm-hmm. So, I remember my dad getting annoyed. Ile you know you, you you I want you guys to come back here. Mkuje kuendelea na maisha hapa. Mm-hmm. So that time alikuwa amepata accident. Amekwa hizo chuma. I don't know whether mm-hmm. what you call them. The one the the, the protruding mm-hmm. ones and then uh, ange kwa tu kwa bed mm-hmm. so my mom came from shags because that time we used to live with our daddy mm-hmm. and mom was back in shags mm-hmm. so she could come she came visiting now to nurse dad mm-hmm. and then i remember my dad calling me akaniambia ubebe huo mtoto mkuje hapa kenye tunakula kwa hii nyumba ndio nyinyi pia mtakula so coming back and seeing you know that time mom is not working and dad we are there sick. and dad is sick you are struggling yeah i'm struggling the baby is there you know he wants milk and all that it was a tough life mm-hmm. so i decided i'm just going to pursue this you know a um, um, uh, business thing eh? because it was something that i had passion in doing mm-hmm. So nikaendelea nikawa tu ninatoka ninaenda ninauza hizo vitu and all that. I remember that time I was so thin, eh? I was very tiny. To an extent I think watu walikuwa nasema that time I was sick nilikuwa na AIDS because of you know I had just changed, na joile drastic change. So with time nikaendelea hivi, nikauza uza tu vitu twangu, nikiuza tu hizo panties nikizurudisha at least ingekosa pesa ya kamaziwa mm-hmm. and in the evening at least ningekuja na kamboga and something. Mm-hmm. So nikika hapo life was a bit tough eh? because uh, you know okay as much as dad was paying rent and was doing every other thing bado ningeona kuna vitu mtoe wangu anahitaji and i couldn't afford that time mm. so hiyo kwenda nje kutafuta narudi ilinisaidia mm. so there is this time i went to my sister used to work uh, somewhere in upper hill mm-hmm. uh, fifth avenue building mm-hmm. yes. So every time I would visit nikipelekea you know the colleagues uh, her colleagues and uh, you know some few friends who mm. i knew there nilikuwa ninaenda nina na feel unajua ile ya ushaiona tu building ni safiani mpaka najiambia some day i want to work order kifungwa tu mlango ni work hapa just because the building was very clean na ningetaka ku associate you know mm. with that nice wale style. watu wanaishi hapo ndani wana feeling yeah. so nikawa tu nauza nauza so at the ground floor there was a a, a shop ilikuwa inaitwa fan shop ya, ya an indian mm. One day I popped in and then you know we Africans have this mentality of Indians don't buy you know what are ku fukuza to a eh. so I went there na nikaambia huyo one of the the managers nimekuja I'm selling boxes will you allow me to sell to your to, to your staff yes and he was like kwanza mimi niuzie so oh, wow. yo know, I think the, the the first impression that I showed akaniambia wewe hata ni mtu naona kama wewe ni msichana mzuri there is even a friend of mine a chinese lady who is looking for somebody to work for them mm. a marketer mm-hmm. would you be interested and wow. i was like why not just leave me with your number i will call her mm. nimwambie mm. nimepata mtu mm. then that's how i left the number alafu nikaozi and then i left mm-hmm. so after some three days the lady the chinese lady called me akaniambia uh, my name is Jessie nini nini nataka niliambiwa i was referred to you by a friend of mine mm. so ninakuita interview mm-hmm. na hizo siku lini mimi nilikuwa nimejaribu kila kitu i have done gnld i have done uh, for well, hey, hey, my my friend. Nairobi hajafanya <laughs> gnld <laughs> lakini <laughs> kama kuna mtu hajafanya gnld nani hajafanya gnld me i was there when gnld was starting and you know you admire kwanza the way they say you know who you are mess do you amefanya nini amefika i levels you wanaenda wapi amenunua ferrari you know oh, anaenda yeah. sijui wapi and then i was like i want to be among these guys who are going to this Pesa places pesa zangu zilipotelea mi what <laughs> Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So I was like 
Me I want to be like this girls. Kwanza tu ukiwaona wamevaa heels unadhani mtu amekuja na Mercedes juu yes. gani ameka huko. Yeah. So that was life. And I remember uh, actually that is now what made me get that job kwa mm-hmm. Kaschana mm-hmm. because it was a, a Chinese company mm-hmm. for they used to sell uh, sanitary towels. Yes. And it was a multi-level business also. So me I worked for the Chinese lady uh, for some time. I think I worked uh, in uh, 2013, 2014 and 2015. Nikikuwa 2015 uh, kampuni kakuwa ni kama kidogo ina collapse. And then um, sasa tulikuwa hapo mimi ndo nilikuwa sasa head of things mm. nikaongezewa kama mshahara nikafikishwa 18,000. Oh. Mm-hmm. So kidogo kidogo kampuni time ilikuwa ni kama ina collapse. I I got a job, you know, a friend of mine mm. from the same building but sasa alikuwa seventh floor. Yes. Thank you to Janet Lolly wherever she is. Yeah. She really helped me. Yeah. She connected me to, you know, another doctor, alikuwa daktari wa Kenyatta. Mm. And then she was like, you know, I have a doctor friend who told us to look to get him somebody. Mm. So, nika actually I just jumped from uh, our office to the next door. Oh. Oh. So I got a job there and I can eat an interview mm-hmm. I kind of can interview and mm-hmm. then uh, he told me to report yes. in that office there wasn't a lot of work because I was only alone and we used to see patients on Wednesdays mm-hmm. only so he reported as a nurse or a, no. pa- or a personal yes, assistant yes yes a personal mm-hmm. assistant so nikaenda niko na free time lean nilikuwa natoka asubuhi mi nanunua tu vitu tangu kama ni tu vitu twa kuuza ninakuja hapo ninafanya 1 2 3 hiyo story inaisha jioni inafika naenda home mm. on wednesdays tunaona patients hiyo story mm. inaisha so time ikasonga time ikasonga i worked for in uh, 24 2015 mm. and some part of 2016 mm. so in 20 no actually that was in 2015 yes. i worked in 2015 mm. and then 2016 tukaenda wapi tukaenda no the, the 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 guy now wanted to sell the office yes. a relocate yeah So akauza akasema mtu auze ofisi na kwambia mimi am jack of all trades. Yes. Akasema anauza ofisi. So akiuza ofisi ni nani anauza ofisi? Mwenye anataka kuuza. Bring in the agents, bring whoever, whoever comes first tunamuzia unakula commission. Mm. Si ndio hii deal. Zipi akaingia ndani ya deal. Mm. Nikatafuta, 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 nikatafuta. So there was this lawyer mm. next office. Mm-hmm. Nikaenda nikaongea na PA wake. Nikamwambia you know we are selling office and you guys instead of ileskum tataka ku ku expand, expand mwende place ingine, you could get this person just move. Mm. Then the PA went and talked to the uh, boss yeah. na boss wake akakuja akaniongelesha. Mm. And just like that they bought the office wow. and I got the commission. Yes. So I remember when my boss gave me the commission how much was it that was uh, around 100 it, it was 100000 and to me that was a lot That's of money lot. honestly yes so what did i do with that money nikaona sasa this is not the end of life i have to do something na kwambia lini ukikuwa tu na kitu iko kwa roho yako inakupush unafuatanga tu hivi na line mm. so mimi business iko it is an inside thing mm. iko it's just something that mm. is inside me So I was like I'm not going to misuse this money nitatumia nifungue ka biashara mm-hmm. ama niongeze utu tu vitu twangu tu niendelee ku hawk thank you to my boss uh, my former boss he was my former boss mm-hmm. aliendelea kunipatia something small even when I wasn't working for him he would call me maybe once in a while and ananiambia kuja nikutume peleka hizi documents na Nairobi hospital nini nini you know there is this thing I want you to do for me and i would do that and mm-hmm. get get money at mm-hmm. least alikuwa ananipatia something so mm-hmm. ikakuwa sasa life iko better mm-hmm. you know ni ninafanya hivi ninafanya hivi so that time now my dad retired on the other end unaona sasa hizo siku zote tulikuwa tunaishi kwa dad so now i had to move out mm-hmm. and go and live on my own mm-hmm. that time i have a baby to take care of and um, i also have my siblings my two brothers they are mm-hmm. twins when you are mm-hmm. so they had to come in niishi now So unafanya nini when you are the bigger one lean ni ku hustle ku hustle lakuna any other whatever way out So nika hustle nika hustle hiyo pesa nikaenda nikafungua ka biashara town somewhere hapo kwa hizo matatu za ROGs mm. there is a can exhibition there called uh, what the one no it's called uh, uh, something mm. nikafungua hapo ka biashara but now this time round i opened with a friend a friend who also had lost her job so now we pulled together tukafungua kaduka we used to pay rent 10000 so na toa 5 na toa 5 that time i'm living in a house of 
So, nini hustle, nijue kwenye o pesa itatoka, at the same time, do ya food and all that. So, I remember, there is this time, she told me, tukakuwa sasa tunafungi wa duka, mm. and I think we hadn't paid for some, like, two months. It was, it was, business was um, a, a slow that time. Mm. So, akaniambia, what do we do? Tuna need sasa ku, mimi in shop imenichosha. Simply because she had been called for an interview. Mimi biashara imenichosha. So what do we do? Wewe edelea na biashara. Nika mwambia sasa 10,000 it was a lot. Mm. Juna imagine sasa unatafta 10, unatafta 12 ya hao. Bado mnakula is still had a house girl and all that. Eh. So ikakuwa ngumu kidogo. Mm. What did I do? Nilienda nikachukua hiyo. Nika, siku moja uyo jamaa kakuja kaniambia. You know what? Wewe naonanga ukona bidi. So what I'm going to do? Sita wafungia duka. Chukua tu vitu zako na utoke uende. Mm. But you see it was also embarrassing you. Wa, neighbors wanaona mnashipa mm. na job and all mm. that. And I left. So when I left, uh, I was called uh, after some few days. Nikaitwa na my former boss uyo mwenye alikuwa meniandika huko. Mm-hmm. And then he said, I've gotten an office in Aga Khan. And uh, you know I'm shifting my business to uh, that place. Mm. Nikaenda. Tukaenda Aga Khan. So nimepata kasalo kazuri. Nye nye naeza jimanage mm. na yo. So, this salary, uh, ilikuwa ibo kunilipia, rent na kunifanyia mambo zingine. Mm. But also that time, I also got married. Yes. So now, life kidogo ikakuwa easy. Easier. But I would wake up every day in the morning, naenda gikomba, naenda na nunua tops, na kuja na... na Uza na, kwa hospital. Eh, lakini kidogo, si kukua na uza juu, ile niko na stock tu, mm. just in case. Yeah. So, naitishwa na watu wa inje. Mm. Kidogo, si mshara inaingia. Yes. Mi nikaanza kungara tu hile yangu sasa ya kawaida. Nangara mbaka watu wananuliza, you know the PS from other offices. Mm. Oh, nanunuanga nguwa zako hapi. And it is a very simple thing. You know, watu wapia so tatu gikomba, mm. ka, 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 kazuri, wama mm. katroza kazuri, ka heel. Mm. You know, I'm carrying a nice handbag and all that. So, wakaanza kuniuliza. Unanunuanga vitu zako hapi and then I would sell to them. Niambia, mi na uzanga hizi vitu. Si utulete. And that is how I grew my clientele mm. kwa husi. Mm. Kidogo, kidogo. And because now also business wasn't very busy yeah. um, in terms of uh, getting patients and all that. So, nikafanya fanya biashara for some time. Kidogo, nikaona, nimeanza kupata pesa mingi. Now that is where the problem started lean. Ukisha anza kupata pesa, I think pesa pei na kujanga na we vingine. Nikaanza sasa kungara kabisa ili kuangaya ni kama nanunua handbags tuseme like twice a month nanunua handbags ngapi okay. mbili. So ikuwe ina match either na kakiatu na nini na, na nini siza hivyo. Pesa kidogo. Siza pesa kidogo my friend and making my hair and you know nails and you have to look their parts. Mm. Lakini hiyo ilikuja pia na mambo zake. Because that time you're looking good because you want to show people that you are looking good. And I think hapa ndiyo watu wengi wame, wame kuwa na... I mean, uh, w- w- wame kuwa na tatizo kubwa. Mm. Because you are getting that salo and you cannot, you know, fulfill or you cannot uh, meet your, 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 your expectations. You mm. cannot sort your bills. Ju, unataka kulook the part. Mm. Ukisha toka tu hivi inje, unapatana na wasitana wengine wame ngara kukuliko. You are like, I also want to look like so and so. Ananipita aje. Unaenda kesho unanunua vya tumupia. Lina na kwambia unapata yo salo ye kama ni ya 40k. Na by the time 50 fike, auna kitu hata hivi kwa mfuko. Umengara zote. Ah, umengara zote. Where do you go? Unaanza kuomba. Sasa wale watu naomba ni watu wenye hao wamejikipio low profile, lakini at least mtu wa save. So unaenda unaanza kuomba pesa. So unikuna mm-hmm. fake lifestyle? Yes, me, I, I had a fake lifestyle that time. And I'm not fr- afraid to say that. Because I know watu wengi wame, wana live sai in denial. Because... Pia hao wako kwa situation yenye nilikuwa. Mm-hmm. You want to, you know, you, you want to look good, you want to impress the community, but deep inside, unasafa. And you are broke. And you are broke. Lini ningea mkasa zingine tu hivya, I tell my hubby, give me fair, niende job. And then he's like, if that job can't give you fair, why are you going? Sit in the house. Mm. And then, nitaka aje kwa nyumba na pia huko nataka kuwakilisha. So, mi ninaenda. Mm-hmm. Hey, ilikuwa, ili, it was a tough life. Mm. Nakumbuka, I'm doing business at the same time and I'm getting my pay. And actually my boss would pay me. Unajua ule mtu mwenye akucheleweshi salo. Mm-hmm. So ikiingia tu hivi before watu wengine wapate, nisha afika jed collection, nika collect huko zenye nina collect, nika nunua handbag, nika nunua viatu. So Monday, nikupiga luku. Kupiga luku. And luku ilikuwa imekubali. Hey. Luku na yo ilikuwa imekubali <laughs> lisa kwa via. Maisha. So, nikawa nina... 
hiyo life ikaendelea hivyo for some time At that time i remember at some point my boss nikamwambia uli ni promise tukianza kupata patients wengi utaniongezea do this is the time now do it and then he was like that's fine zipi we are going to do it starting end month akaniongezea pesa sasa sika pesa kamepanda mm. what do you do Look na inaendelea kupanda inaendelea kupanda class inaendelea kupanda. Sisi tulikuwa tunafanyia kazi huko. Hey, eh my friend. Look sijui unataka kukula nini hapo chini saa saba kuna hizo cafeteria za hospitali na unajua vile ni za hizi. Eh. Nataka kukula huko ninataka kufanya yani mimi hili niliishi maisha ya sitaki kupingwa na mtu. At some, at some point I remember there is a nurse who has, once asked me. Lakini wewe kwani unalipangwa pesa ngapi? Juu hata hao walikuwa wananiogopa zile mm. za Hai uju izi kuvaa zake zote and all these sio kawaida you know and maybe people start wanaanza kukuwa na kuongea zile za exactly you know yeah that something. happens a lot by yeah. the way so life ikaendelea lini nili fake life mimi kama kuna mtu ali fake life ni mimi and then now reality na kujanga kuku hit later zile za what were you doing and there is nothing as bad as working for all those years and you know the moment maybe your contract is terminated or something happens you have hauna nothing. depression na kuambia watu unaona wakiingia kwa depression it is because of these things so that was life tukaendelea hivyo tukaendelea hivyo kesho ninaona tu hivi mtu mwingine unajua nikiwalk along the corridors unaona pia mwingine wa huko ako na kitu fulani We pia unaenda unajiingiza huko unataka ufanye nini mm. lakini li, li, mi nakwa, by the time hivi seventh fike siku kuanga tena shilingi moja kwa mfuko Kai. and kidogo now i started concerning with my hobby because mm. you know you have your your duties to play you mm-hmm. know your roles to play in the house and you are not doing it so what happens you also burden him because mm. now he is carrying your baggage yes. Then now the bitter part is umekopa hapa umekopa hapa umekopa hapa and man ikifika because you have to pay these guys unarudisha rudisha rudisha na hivi 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 and then wewe unabaki una hakuna sasa hata kupiga luku mm. cause at some point sasa yani kama umekopa more than what you are supposed to get and it is a bad life i tell you so ilienda on for some time and then uh, nika at some point sasa nika have sasa kuamka time wenye mm. you know when 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 i was almost um, to deliver my my second born yeah. so that time uh nikaanza sasa kujifikiria you know uh, my husband has to do this you know jua kutafuta vitu za mtoi and all that pia yes anafanya kazi na yeye akona majukumu zake za mm. ku kwa kwa nyumba so what happens tutafanya nini ndio tusaidiane hii maisha nikaanza sasa kujifikiria kidogo kidogo mm. and that time now nikaanza kuona zile vitu alikuwa ananiongelesha zina make sense sasa aya sasa nikaanza kuamka kidogo kidogo but that that, that time um, i remember when i was going for my maternity leave i brought in a friend akushikilie anishikilie kuleta huyu mtu anishikilie yeye na yeye akakuwa kitu kingine I remember when when I went back when I gave birth and, and went back because nika 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 maternity for around four months mm. and I went back siku moja nilipata ameandikia mdosi barua anamwambia you know how she would love to work there na it's just a small office yenye yezi hata fanya kazi watu wawili mm. mtakaa wapi mm. so kidogo hivyo ndo ilianza na na in a way I don't regret it most of it was time god's time to elevate me to mm. a different level and kidogo madharau ikaanzanga so ushaienda job lin ukapata mtu amekalia desk yako na amepewa piles of work to do and, and you, you have a friend and this is a friend and mm. you will impeleka hapo mimi ndio nilimpeleka ogopa nairobi ogopa my friends <laughs> na kwambia kikulacho kingoni mwako kinyashinski hapo ah, sasa <laughs> <laughs> so nika nika nikawa nimeshikwa na some bitterness but i couldn't i, uh, I couldn't show her yes so kidogo kidogo ika ikani affect so unaenda job umefika wewe hauna place ya kuketi unakaa huko kwa you know others huko so unakaa kwa viti za patients you know you have nothing to do siku inaisha unaenda nyumbani kesho the same thing eh hey, mimi nikakaa nikaona zipizi nitashikwa na depression unajua lean tunaweza fake lakini deep inside ina niuma and then at some point pia i was also afraid sasa niki lose job agaka nitaambia nini marafiki zangu mm-hmm nitawaambia nini because mm. that time i want to you know ile life nilikuwa naishi 
kumbuka sasa itaanza kwenda chini and you want to maintain and i want to maintain yes my name, is, yes, my, name yeah, 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 my friend you just didn't you don't know how it is sounds eh. when you are telling people you know you those places yes, eh? yes. so nika kidogo ikawa inanisumbua so nakumbuka at some point ningekuwa tukipata patient ninatoka ninaenda kwa stairs za pande ingine ninaenda ninakaa tu hapo mm. and then naanza kufikiria vitu mingi, kufikiria vitu mingi. coming back home i share that with my husband and then he is telling me your boss akwa na shida ya kukulipa even when you are not working then kwa nini useme unaacha job enda ukae hapo endelee kukulipa hii it doesn't have a problem mm. but it was a torture it was torture inside me so this went on for some time <laughs> Ah siku moja nikasema hii maisha sasa mimi nitaiweka ex. Watu wanione vile wataniona kuende vile kutaenda ni sawa it has happened. And I remember on 3rd of March 2017. Saa nane ya mchana sita waisahau. There is a friend of mine who walked in that office and asked me, "Eh, zipi? Kweli huku tumekuwa tukiona mambo kidogo kidogo kweli kunaenda aje? Are you the one who brought this lady here?" na juu limleta mm-hmm. kwani what's not happening mm-hmm. juu to we we've started seeing noticing some changes mm-hmm. na unajua juu nataka ku effect bado na kwambia mtu wa ku fake life tu ni mtu wa ku fake life na uwezi mm-hmm. fanya kitu kingine mm-hmm. so kidogo nawaambia ah msijali hii ni mambo tu nitatatua you know me i brought her in to sit in for me na sina ubaya mm-hmm wacha tu asaidie penye atasaidia i remember at some point even telling my boss Uh, this lady kama unaweza mofa job inaweza kuwa uh, tumemsupport sana tunaweza kuwa tumemsaidia sana and then he said he was going to look for something for her to mm. do little did i know it that is now is that was something was now you me your position hey, my position so kidogo kidogo sasa hata ile morali ya biashara ikaisha and all that and then i started sasa kukua na hiyo kidogo nika una fall into depression juu kwanza ile kitu ilikuwa inaniuma kabisa lini ni the EO outside community itanipokea aje now you are no longer working in agakan and every time you, when you're meeting with your friends in town and that is also the time i realize kumbe marafiki wanakupenda ukikuwa na kakitu when you don't have anything they will just disappear and that is when i learned now kubeba msalaba wangu peke yangu so uh hiyo third i just sat down kwa computer and i drafted an email and i told my boss you know what I needed an increment. Like ile ni kama unaifanya sasa ni kama cha nguvu. I needed an increment. And then uh, there were some ta- some some things which were happening that time. And then he never responded. It was on a Friday. Niliandika hiyo email saa nane na nikachukua bag yangu, nikakusanya vitu zangu zilikuwa kwa hiyo ofisi and I walked out. Na nikaenda nyumbani. Zipi ameenda home na nini? After working in Agakan for is it two and a half years? Nothing. Lin siku kwa na ka saving hata ka shilingi moja hivi hata shilingi hata nini sasa umeketi kwa nyumba umeanza kuitisha mzee pesa you know i can't do my nails i can't do my hair because i don't have any um, i mean uh, money mm. so i remember monday moja uh, it was in i think that was in may sometimes mm-hmm. in may uh, 2017 it was on a monday my husband woke up and he left for work and he left a thousand bob in the house So hiyo 1000 mimi nikafikiria haraka haraka mm. nikajiambia so what do you do I need to take this money and know what to do How I landed in Gikombali I don't know To date bado mofikiria anga nijiulize what made me go to Gikomba yani ni nini nilikujia what made me go to Gikomba and you know hiyo uh, starting point nilienda kukuwa nao nilitoa wapi hiyo idea ya kwenda Gikomba so i woke up in the morning i told my house girl you know you check after the baby and the baby was small that time angalia mtoi mi nimeenda hmm. nikaenda Gikomba kwenda Gikomba nikaenda nikanunua stockings hizi stockings zenye tunavaa tukivaa short dresses hmm. and all that hmm. I went and bought stockings. That time I didn't even know how to choose. Nikaenda tu nikapata penye hizo vibanda vibanda za kikomba penye wameka and then nikachukua stockings. I bought a few pieces for 1000. And then nikakuja nazo jioni. So when my husband came in the evening, sikuna chakula. Auta niuliza pesa pengine kesho nikikuuliza nikikuitisha pesa ndo utaniambia yesterday you left a thousand bob where is the money. Mm. And it is a beautiful story. I remember e, e, nilikuwa naweka hii pufa hapa mm. na mwambia nipatie mugu yako nivalishe hii stocking nipige picha ndio ni eze ku market i don't know where i got that idea from kwa tu hivi una pesa siku moja 
ndio ujue ideas za biashara kwenye zinatokanga and uh, maybe when i'm talking this i want to encourage somebody ni mwambie wale watu wako na you know give me a business idea nitatoa wapi business idea si utatoa wapi i always tell people you have that thing in your mind unaona hiyo tu kujiuliza ama nianzange ku make mandazi nipeleke watu kwa ofisi ni kweni na wauzia za side so that is a business idea you have don't wait for anybody to come from anywhere mm-hmm. to tell you this is a business idea mm-hmm. so namvalisha nikimvalisha namvalisha mpaka hapa nusu kama amevaa short na pinga picha so bwanako alikuwa model eh, bwanangu alikuwa model <laughs> that time so namvalisha na pinga picha mm. and i didn't even know how to take photos you know my selection for those talking nilikuwa mbaya baya nikaa nachukua zile za wazungu mm. zote funny enough the first day nilimpiga hizo photos and i posted online on facebook i got like 17 clients Where can I get these tokens and then I was like I have them. So tomorrow I hit the road niende niwapeleke delivery and that is how I started. I remember the first day nilienda kuuza tokens I made um 2700 profit. Nikauza by saa tano nimesha by saa sita nimesha maliza nimerudi kwa hao kuja ku breastfeed. Mm. And that encouraged me to do it more and more. You know I would go to Gikomba buy those tokens and go and sell. Ninakuja usiku tunapiga hivyo hivyo kidogo kidogo I call my son mm. kuja tupige and life ikaendelea tu hivyo tuka nika kidogo kidogo nikaomoka na hizo uh-huh. tokens. Na lakini sasa hii unachunga pesa. Eh, my friend sasa hii nakwambia hata sitakangi kusikia coin inaenda kwa waste. You mm. really know what to buy and what not to, mm-hmm. you know. Mm. So I sold tokens for some time uh, for like uh, around 7 months. Nikapata pesa. Kupata pesa nikaenda nikafungua kaduka mahali mm. and I used to pay 15,000 mm. just aka aka a small store. Mm siku kwa na kiti i didn't have anything nilikuwa naenda na zimwaga hapo chini zote then nikipata customer wale wenye na advertise sasa wakiniuliza now i have a location unakuja unachagua hapo i get my money and i go home mm-hmm. so i started small i started small and and and, and with time i grew I remember at some point nikaanza kwenda Kampala kununua nguo mpya ninakuja ninauza mm. and all that mm. and thank you to my husband who would sit, uh, me na sit in with my babies for that time and uh, my little girl Sifa was very small mm. and you know my husband angekubali tu abaki na yeye niende niende and uh, ninunue nguo and mm. to me that he was supporting my dream you know there is not a time neza sema ali ali kuambia e, ali niambia sijui achana na hii kazi ama fanya nini he was very supportive you know he would uh, fund me kidogo mm. ile yenye amepata and all that so nikafungua duka nikauza nguo mpya kidogo kidogo nikaona that wasn't my line you know nikarudi tena kwa mtumba na nikajiambia na one thing i will never stop doing i will never stop selling stockings because stockings ndio zimenifikisha mahali niko leo So anika uza stockings for some time mm. zikanifungulia hiyo duka nikauza nguo za Kampala zikanishinda nikarudi tena Gikomba mm. so now i started including chiffon tops nikaanza kuuza gym pants nikaanza kuuza tights like the one i'm wearing mm-hmm. vitu kama hizo mm. for some time na nikajinua and that is how i became a business owner sasa wa kujiambia at least now i even have a shop yes this is a one stop shop yeah. where you get everything uh-huh. So we have stockings. Yes. This is the key thing, eh? Yeah. Because this is where we started. This is the signature. This is the signature. Look cool. This is look cool. This is this is look cool. Yes. So we have this the, the, the stockings in different sizes. Yeah. We have them in different textures. Yeah. For example, yes. we have this. This is what we call a sheer stocking. <laughs> And we are able to tell the size because I can say like now if I tell you the size 8 to 10. Oh, so you wezi nitosha hata nikijaribu hata nikijaribu hata. Ni akulala. Yes. <laughs> So, uh, this one yeah. This is a plus size token. Uh-huh. We call it a medium thick. Yeah. Why do we call it a medium thick? Yeah. Because you can be able to see the skin oh, but at the same yeah. time ni kazito. So this sandio yangu sasa. Sasa hivi yako. Na yako zile tu kubwa. Yako inafaa kukuwa na hizi double lines noma to show that it is a plus size. So unaona sasa hivi unamaanisha nini sasa zi? Simaanisha wewe ni kubwa lakini When corona came that is another wave yenye karibu iniangushe kabisa. Mm. Mm. 
remember business wasn't doing very good and again thank you to my husband who supported me fully you mm -hmm. know he would pay my rent without complaining if you although alilipa for some time mm -hmm. due you know that time i wasn't able to do it and uh when corona came he was like nimelipa hii duka sana sasa utaifunga so we talked to i mean uh, my husband told me sasa what is the way forward funga your shop Okay, you know God has been faithful to us. We can afford to eat, mm -hmm. we can afford to pay rent with the little that I am getting. So just close the shop. Ukuje tukae kwa nyumba. Kidogo hiyo ka ka sauti ikawa ni kama inataka kuniconvince. Lakini nikajiambia kuanza kitu ndio ngumu kabisa. When you are in, you're doing some already doing something, usikiangi hiyo process ikikua, I mean na ni kama inakuchosha because mm -hmm. you know tomorrow you'll see something to encourage you and you know unaendelea hivyo. So vile aliniambia nifunge duka si kufunga. Of course tulikaa hizo two months mm. and then our landlord was good kidogo akatuachia month moja to sleep mm. rent. Mm. Na hiyo story kaendelea hivyo tuka at some point akashindwa na kulipa hiyo mall and then akapatiana to the owners mm. which were Indians. Mm. So kupatiana to the owners remember that time ndio biashara watu wanapeana you know ile ya we are giving uh, discounts and all that ju uh, life ni hard mm. ah mimi nikafunga hiyo duka na nikajiambia acha nitafute mambo ingine nikakaa kwa nyumba si biashara ingine ndio ya kuuza mask nikaanza nikaingia kwa biashara ya kuuza mask kidogo kidogo nilikuwa nimelemewa nikauza mask nikauza mask you know nikapata friends who supported me you know supply to our mm. office mm. do do what mm. kidogo kidogo ikaniomosha tena ile pesa nilipata kwa mask nikarudisha kwa ile biashara yangu and now i told my husband i'm not going to close my business mm. acha ni jiskume na hii kidogo yenye nimepata mm. he is the one who used to fund me kununua you know mask na zikikuja mm -hmm. box ilikuwa almost 5000 it was very expensive mm. so you would give me nikipata kaoda nina supply me i get my uh, ka interest ka profit na mrudishie hiyo ingine mm -hmm. so tukafanya hivyo for some time nikarudia sasa ka shop kangu tena and uh, something happened when that was uh, in uh, may mm -hmm. That was in June. Mm. So I've always wanted to have a shop in Jamia. Nikajiambia, so what do I do? Because I want to transition and that time you don't even have money and all that. Shops in Jamia they are very expensive, you know, and guys will tell you to give them goodwill na inakuanga goodwill ni siki dogo. Mm. So because I've always wanted to unajua ile desire unakuanga nayo. Siku moja nataka ni kwetu hapa. Nikajiambia ah uh, wacha niende wapi nionge na a friend nione kama anaweza nisongea kwa ka shop kake moyo avenue you know and uh, akaniambia you know we, we, we can do this but sasa juu ya anauza suit za men mimi siwezi leta vitu zangu za mtumba tena kukuja mm. kuweka hapo mm. so i had this friend who approached me uh, akaniambia you know what zipi I don't know why I came to you. I have a shop in Jamia. How about we collab and uh, set up the shop? But it needed a lot of money. So and I wasn't able to afford that mm. time. So I can niambia come I will show you how we will do it. Then nikamwambia I'm even getting frustrations from you know my uh, the other ka shop. Mm. Uh, let me see what to do. And that is how I moved now from my ka shop mpaka nikapata okay, shop in Jamia. Mm. Yes. Mm nimeona god's faithfulness please mm -hmm. lean uh, nikikuwa jamia because now even after i went there unajua pia na jambianga imekuwa a different lifestyle because even the prices that i had when i was here pia vitu zikapanda soko and now when i moved there now my clients are able to mm -hmm. afford peer prices za huko mm -hmm. yeah and that is uh, generally has been my journey and oh. i thank god oh. yes we we look eh? look <laughs> Hapo hapo jamia unauza nini? We have uh, this these yeah. are tights. Yes. And we stock tights in different uh, sizes. Okay. Plus size, small sizes, whichever size. Yeah. So like this, mm. yeah, it's a heavy material. Okay. Wale watu wa ofisi wanaweza kaa kama hii. Even me love the. Yes. Hizi hata unaweza enda kupiga kama hizo. Hizi unaweza kaa kwa ofisi. Yeah. Kama uh, casual ama okay. pia official depending uh -huh. on where you work. Yeah. We also have uh, tights that are gym, yes. gym pants. Yeah. This one, yeah. They are, they are, they are, they are several, okay. like this one. Yeah. Okay. So we stock them in yes. different sizes. All right. Uh, this side we have uh, tops. Beautiful. Yeah, very yeah. beautiful tops. Yeah. These are chiffon tops. Mm -hmm. Uh, for mothers yeah. and even for you know, no mm -hmm. more, no mm -hmm. more wear. Mm -hmm. So they also come in different sizes. Yes. 
um, down here we have the mothers, mom mother jeans, <laughs> mom jeans, yeah. Mom official, mom khakis, mom the mom <laughs> yes. yeah, and the beautiful, and the beautiful corner there. dresses. Yes. So we have arranged them in sizes. Yeah. As you can see, these are plus sizes. Okay. Because uh, they expand. Yeah. But I think uh, this can be worn by even small guys. Yes. Because they expand. They expand. Yeah. These are the medium sizes. Yeah. And then we have the small sizes okay. on that end. Yes. Um. What else? What else? Down here. Yeah. We have children tights. Okay. So we stock children's title yeah. from age five yeah. to seventeen. Okay. They are down here. Yeah. And then sasa hizi ni stock So at a same me bari kwa mpaka mweka. Yes. Mpaka sasa hizi tumeka stock huko. We also have another amazing thing to me tengeneza shelves mm -hmm. zenye tuna sublate to, to you know there are those people who want to have businesses in town eh? oh. maybe you are in like a small business and you are not able to afford a shop in yes. town so to me tengeneza shelves we are renting them out at 4000 shillings mm. Unaka munaeka vitu zako hapo and then you go and market from wherever watu then sasa sisi watu wanakuja sasa sisi tuko hapo tu tu wahudumi yes wow mm. hii ni jani yeah it has been a jani but it is an amazing one and you love your yes, job yes and i love my, oh my god i am i love my job mm. kama sasa hii tunajambia uh, i'm almost done and then nipate mtu mwingine yes. and then i'm like sasa nitaachia nani because you know nime maybe it is a challenge uh, nimekuwa niki handle clients wangu for the longest time. Mm. So kidogo una feel when you are delegating the duty to somebody else to do it they, they will not do it with mm. the passion that you have. Mm. Yeah, but I love my job. I love selling toba things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Wow. Yeah. Unaweza zipi unajua mm -hmm. msija hiyo yani you are brutally honest. Wow. When you lem tunasema mm -hmm. zile vitu watu wanaweza ugopa kusema. Yes. What's the greatest lesson you learn in life mm -hmm. especially ya ku fake lifestyle? Okay. Ah uh, the greatest lesson you learn number one, learn to walk alone. As in uh, when I'm talking about walking alone, mm -hmm. most of the people out here are faking life. And as I said, kama una ka kitu kidogo ubeshte ni kama inaanza kusonga unajua and when you carry you know friends with you and all that because you mnataka mfanye a b c d it is good and there i have seen people who prosper in you know uh, bringing coming together as friends and doing something but friends friendship ingine lean ni waste una carry mtu unafanya nini mnaanzisha ka kitu lakini kuna ule wa kukupul behind you know we can't make it you know we 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 you know i have this too mm. mimi ni kama dream yangu it's a different one and all that so ukitaka kufungua biashara learn to walk alone you najua get get mawaida from those people who have prospered nini nini usikuwe na wivu na watu juu and they are progressing in business nini mm. nini you know the challenges that zipi might be undergoing today mm. are not the challenges that um, um, you are facing and i normally tell people your version is better you know it is greater focus ipatie you know hiyo mind yako yote set your focus. yes focus now uki focus yeah. utaenda mbali mm. so those people who are faking life there mimi ninaweza waambia because i know we are so many of us outside here kwanza tu ladies when you kwa hizi maofisi mtu na muone morning wanaamka they are wearing you know they are looking good they are wearing the best perfumes lakini mtu akienda hapo usiku they are having sleepless nights no, no, because hana hata chakula anakuwa tu ile wa simu ni nani si uni save so mbili nitakusort kesho unamsort kesho ukitoa wapi na hauna na mzazi hata ana mabati na mzazi ana mabati hata kwa nyumba you mm. know so uki 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 focus and you know ukuwe tu na line yako na watu wa kufake life ninaweza waambia hivi come out get assistance from people who have been there you know and and and, and you know they are they are they, they, now today they are mm. not where they were mm. uh, wana, wa, they used to live that kind of life because me like now me when somebody comes to me and tells me you know zipi i've been in the same shoes that you, you you've been am i am right now i'm wearing the same shoes that mm. you used to wear nitamsaidia na niwaambia aje usi fake life hapo nje be you be real lean unapata mshahara ya 10000 tumia hiyo 10000 mm. you know set your pay your rent in a kama house in you know just leave that standard as my husband always tell mm. me 
Usitake kukua na gari juu mtu mwingine ako na gari pale nje na ujui ilimkosti nini. Uende uingie kwa dates na uingie kwa vitu zingine ndio wish that kind of life. Just be you. You know and and, and, and encouraging that person and telling them you know they can do it. Mm. Their version is better. It's greater. It's greater. Yes. They yeah. focus. They focus. Yes. Yeah. Na if people want to promote you mm -hmm. by getting you a merchandise. Yes. Tumesema uko na maternity wear, mm -hmm. gym packs, mm -hmm. is all tight. Yes. Of course nini yako lo brand yes, yako ni yes. watu wanakujua na yes. website where how can people find you ah uh, so i have a physical location yes. uh ta jamia mall mm -hmm. first floor shop number f33 yeah when you want to um, as I said, it is uh, by partner with my friend. Mm. So, you know, we have, um, I have a page. Yes. My page is called Sassy and Classy Collections. Mm -hmm. When you go um, through my page, you'll find all these things. Mm. And uh, when you come now, you will find me at Jamia because that is where physical, I mean, I am physically. Yes. When you want to take a maternity, check yeah. out Molly's maternity wear. Mm -hmm. You know, you will get everything that you want. Yes. Yes. Okay. Mm. Na number hakuna? Uh, number iko. <laughs> <laughs> I have a number. Yes. My business number is uh, 0726 mm -hmm. 85 yeah. 2061 yeah. and uh, that is my personal line. Yes. I also have my business number which yeah. is 0748 mm -hmm. 66 24 11 so people can find you yeah people those. can find me through mm -hmm. this yes all right mm. talk to kenyans who are discouraged right now uh camera gun in to me all right, right. Yes. so uh to my fellow viewers who are watching at me i hope my story has inspired somebody and uh nataka kuambia ukianza ukikuwa na dream because everybody has a dream in life you know focus on your dream you know be you um you know, just learn letting what what you want to let go, go and, you know, focus on what can help you. Uh, don't live in denial. Usikai fake life kama ile enye mimi niliishi. You know, if you're, you're, you're earning your a little thing, weka atuna hiyo. And always has, have that dream in life. Uh, like me now, if I can say, I'm, I'm, I'm just trusting God for a car. Uh, you have always wanted to have businesses in other areas mm -hmm. and especially those cold areas like Nanyuki, Naivasha, Nakuru. Nikuwe na to stores, to stock in Mahali. Mm -hmm. So when I have that ka, 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 gari, okay. kavitse, ama, whatever, mm -hmm. I'll be able to, to go to those places at least to survey the areas without having to connect matatus from there and there. Mm -hmm. And um, something that I didn't tell you, like my Facebook name, ukienda Facebook name, now my personal account, yeah. ni Mwenyewe Kavitz. Yes. Uh, mwenye kavits. Mwenye kavits. Yeah. Mwenye, actually, it is mwenyewe kavits. Yeah. So you see, I don't have that kavits, but I'm already claiming you, it. Yes, I am man manifesting yeah. a vids. So I am just trusting God that yeah. one day that is going to come true. Mm -hmm. So be you in life. Focus. Wachana na ima neno ya uku. Ukitaka kuenda weka marafiki wenye unawana kama wana kudiscourage because you know friends are there to yes. discourage you. Yeah. They will tell you, ah, ukifungua yu biashara hita endelea fulani na fulani walifungua na yao ika fail. Do not listen to those negative, you know, mm -hmm. uh, um, aside. Focus. Focus. Be you. Your version is better. It is greater. Um, you can do it. You can do it. Yes. Asanti sana mm. zipi. Mwenyewe kavit. Yes. Uh, former Luku representative. <laughs> Yes, I am that challenge. No man, thanks mm. for keeping it real. Yeah. Na na jo obvious what watu ko watakuza uko. Yeah. Tights utauza. Yeah, this is a sana. maternity. She phone tops. Zote utauza. Everything watitaka. And continue encouraging mm. people and yes. keeping it real. Yes, yes. All right. Mm.